Hey guys, what's up? Uh, Beer Man A675 here. Uh, here to do my second hockey card on pack opening. Might be a while for another one since they're all kind of shutting down here. Um, saw this new box, uh, upper deck MVP uh, edition. Uh, I don't know. It, it doesn't like it's nothing special because there's nothing really good for hockey cards around here. Like unless I get them online. I haven't really spent a lot of money on them since. I got some, you know, the signed and the patches and you know, but. Sometimes it's just nice to get these and see, see what happens. It is the 2021 season, so uh, kind of interested to see what happens here and what we get for cards, especially with everything going on here. But uh, let's go ahead. I think there's uh, 10 packs. Not very many cards in them. Five cards per pack, and we got, oh wow, one, two, three. Four, five, ten, is that ten? Ten, fifteen, twenty. One bonus pack, I guess. I don't know. Anyways, get ready to get your mind blown. First pack, it's gonna be no reference code, so I don't know if it's gonna be green or white, if it's gonna be a good pack or not, what's gonna happen. There we go. Oh, okay. Cool different card style. You got MVP, so we got Kiki Andel first off. Is that Jake Muzzin? Ah, it is Jake Muzzin. We got our first Leafs player. One last night, first game of the season. Not bad. Chris Letang. Still playing. Berberoski, first one in the Florida uniform we got for him now. Wow. Tom Wilson. I actually don't really mind him as a player. First pack, not so bad. Uh, no rookie cards in there. Nothing wrong with that. Um, to be honest, it's going to be a kind of a shit year for even getting rookies because <coughs> COVID. <laughs> Sorry. I swear I'm not sick. Um, who we got here? Andreas Lee. Kyle Connor. Not bad. <laughs> oh boy, COVID again. Bouvier? Bouvier? I can't remember how to say that one. Shea Theodore. Love Shea Theodore. Great player. And uh, Connor Alibuck. So we had good players so far. I, I can't complain about that at all. Again, no rookies, but what are you going to do? Oh, Carter Hart. It's not a rookie card. Still though, it's really nice. Uh, who we got here, Maxim Lutunov. Oh, okay, so we got our first rookie. Um, oh wait, he played three games last year, doesn't continue him as a rookie, but one goal. Put that off to the side. Oh, that's not too bad. Oh, wow. So we got his engraved signature on that. If you guys can see that right there, it's even indented into the card. Don't know what's so different about this pack. I I like that. I like the indentation too, to be honest. It's a JT Miller, good player. I don't know how much that card goes for anything. And then uh, Nicholas Backstrom, great player, love him. And uh, was it Pierre Luc Dubois, who just requested a trade actually, pretty much out of Columbus, and they're looking for him. So uh, see how he turns out. Uh, he's a big guy. Got lucky in the bubble last year, in my opinion, but maybe he'll continue it. Uh, oh, Sebastian Alho, not bad, not bad. Brock Nelson. Oh, we got another indentation here. Oh, that one's not indented. That one's, and it's got a shadow. It's a cool card, Sean Monaghan. Right, nothing wrong with that at all. Uh, who we got here? David Piron. Piron. And then we got uh, Miko or Myro Hiskinen. I'm trying to look at the stats here. It's two seasons. Really good stats, too. He's always been a big deal. I tried to get him a hockey pool. Rob stole him from me. Born to be a good player. Let's see how it turns out, though, in Dallas. They got all the COVID cases right now, so it's kind of interesting to see what will happen there because they're postponed. Especially with Sagan out. Oh, did I do that right? Yeah. So we got Jake Getzel. Mike Smith. 
Mirror. Okay, so we got a Connor McDavid mirror. Sure. It's a nice shiny. Look kind of like our hollows in Pokemon for reference. Um, uh, Morgan Riley. I don't really like the picture overly for him, but another leaf. What are you, you going to do? And then David Pasternak, the absolute beast here. I can't believe it says he's played five seasons already. Wow. And other than the first year, he scored over 30 goals every year. And almost got 50 last year in 70 games. So he would have got 50 probably. Just like Austin Matthews there. What are you going to do? What are Alec Martinez, hmm, I didn't know he went to, that's bad. I haven't been watching a ton of hockey recently just because of the, all the shit going on there, but Shea Weber. Oh, we got another special card and we got a Leafs here. Who do we got? Austin Matthews, Toronto, MVP card. He's got his engraved signature MVP. Sure, I like it, it's a nice card. Nothing wrong with that card. Um, we got Colton Perprinko, and then we got Simeon Varlamov. Those were nice cards, actually. I, I'm kind of glad I picked up this box instead. Last time I got the tin, it's all right. Like, it's also different, though. I'm pretty sure it's OPG, right? Oh no, it's upper deck too, and it is this season. Hmm. I don't know. Whatever. What are you gonna do, though, right? Packs are a little hard to get in since there's so little cards. Oh, uh, Josh Bailey. Oh, a lot of Islanders players here. Uh, uh, Reichel. I don't remember what his first name is here. Ricard. Oh, we got another signature here. Johnny Kapanapa. He's got the shadow with the print. I don't mind it. He actually has a pretty, pretty nice signature on that. You guys can all see that. Rookie card for Anaheim. Again, one goal in five games last year. But, so you never know how he's going to turn out. I haven't heard much about him. I think I actually just read an article about how he got sent down, actually. Um, we got the king himself, not in his Washington tire. And then we got uh, Tivo Teravainen. I don't know how to say his first name. Maybe even Teravainen is wrong. Just that's how I know other people say it. At least in hockey, when you watch it, at least other people say it. So you're like, oh, they said it that way. Pokemon, it's like, I don't fucking know, man. Um, here we got. Oh, Alexander Steen. I always loved him, former Leaf. Too bad he had to go. Uh, Dustin Brown, stripped captain. Okay, so he's a different color. Yeah, he's our, I think, our only one of a different color. I like that. Cal McCarr, too. It's not going to be his rookie card, though, unfortunately. Last year was, yeah. 50 points, 57 games. I knew he did pretty well. Great card, though. Love it. Absolutely love it. Um, who do we got here? Patrick Hornquist. I thought he got traded. Again, they're a little behind here. And then Tyler Johnson. So I like how they have different cards. And every, not everyone, but you know what I mean. They're kind of switching up. Little differences. That's what you want to see. Obviously, the Prism cards I love. Because they're just sexy with some cards. I'll just show you some of mine that I have. Um, but for uh, just cards to get around here, like this is pretty good. You got Brandon Rust. Oh, no. Now I always forget. Jonas Corpusalo. Corpusalo. I'm pretty sure that's right, actually. Yeah. I always get his name wrong. Eric Gustafson, which I'm pretty sure went to uh, Chicago. He just had like a 3.9. Blake Wheeler. Poor guy. And then we got Tyler Bertuzzi. Nothing wrong with him. Except that he plays for Detroit. They suck, dude. Let's have a dumb mark. I forgot the cap. And see, I don't really agree with that, but who else are they going to give it to? They have fucking nobody. I don't even like Dylan Mark, but he's an American guy. You know, they like him. Why is that upside down? We got Alex Petrangelo, good for him. Still in the St. Louis <laughs> uniform, though. Now we got Barakoff. Oh, wow. And then we got, uh, what is this? Is it Lars? No, it's Jacob Silverberg. Shit. Um, Anthony DeClaire, still with Ottawa as well. And then we got Tori Krug, who was also, that was a pack of people that just left their hometown. Not their hometown, their uh, team. Kind of funny, though. So here we got, we got Braden Shen. <sighs> Who's that? Bren Sutter. Oh, okay. We got a uh, Net Crashers, Jonathan Toes, MVP. It's a nice looking card. Again, really shiny. Keep that off to the side. 
We got Travis Konecki, love him as a player, former Auto 67th. And then we got Kyle Polinari. So we'll probably say we're done. It's probably just over half. Well, I think more than over half. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. This is 10, so we're just over half by one. God, I'm good at this. Um, who we got here? Hampus Lindum. I don't even think I know that one. Jasper Brad, he just signed an extension actually. Nate Schmidt just got traded to Vancouver. We got Borkstrand, who just signed another extension. And then we got Tarasenko, who's on long-term IR, unfortunately. I did pick him up in my pool, just put him on IR, just in case he does, like, you know, turn around. He even plays the end of the season. Tarasenko's a hell of a player. And one year I dropped him first overall, and he didn't do anything for, like, the first, like, six months. That's not true. It's not six months. It was, like, three months. And then the last, like, two, he turned it on, and he got, like, I forget how many points for me. Brent Burns. Uh, Devin Dubnik, who's also with San Jose now. Oh, Connor McDavid, green MVP card. It's nice. Big player, too. We got Nazem, former Leaf. Um, and then we got uh, Rasmus Dolan. Oh, that's not bad. I guess he has stats that haven't been crazy, but he's playing in Buffalo. The poor guy. Buffalo's just the death place for anybody right now. That's like four years ago. Um, Sean Couture. We got David Richer, Richie. Wow, Jack Hughes signed MVP. I hate him, highly overrated. Don't think he should have won first. Um, who we got here? Jason Zucker. Didn't he get traded too? And then of course we got the one, the only, Zach Cassian. Battle of the Earl would be great this year. I want to have a back card, it's a good one. We got uh, Mark Shifley. We got Jacob Borchek. We got uh, Evander Kane, who just won, what, $27 million in debt? Declared bankruptcy? What are you doing? Um, Neil, Gaff oh, Frig. John Gabriel Pejo. Why did I say Neil? And then the one, the only, Phil to thrill the sausage man himself. Here we got here, Andreas Johnson, he got traded too. I guess, they're, you know, I gotta give him, it's been a short off season. Uh, we got Jonathan Bingington, Philip Zendaya, Corey Crawford is also been traded, and then Jeff Carter. We're on to our final five packs here. So I think we've gotten two rookies so far. So let's see if anything goes on. Wayne Simmons, who, it's also playing for Toronto now. Had a big fight last night. Who we got here? Oh, Brady Sky G. Ski, Sky G, whatever you want to call it. Uh, we got a blue Antonio Panarin MVP, or green, sorry. We got Shishnikov, who is a future franchise player right there. And then we got Nico Husher, another old Ray player, in my opinion. Again, New Jersey, I mean, it's hard, but like, they didn't have that bad of a team for them to fail out of that. I don't know. Maybe they rushed him in too soon, but between him and Hughes, and it's not even looking like an Edmonton blown up where, like, you know, at least the first overalls kind of do something other than Yakupov, but, like... Oh, sorry, I'll put a little closer. Jared Spurgeon. Alex Kalorn. Oh, we got another one here. High speed, Connor McDavid MVP. So we got another Connor McDavid. I don't know if that's good or bad because we got a lot of them, so they're probably not, you know, they're probably pretty common, I guess. Um, but we're about... And then we got Alex Ovechkin, the great. I'm very curious to see how many goals he scores this year since there's hardly any games. And it's going to really screw with his maybe taking over the first overall goals, which I thought he could do it. But with this shortened season, I don't know, man. He's going to have to really prolong his career now and still put up the numbers. And Washington's going to have to deal with him. Okay, so we got uh, Markstrom, who's not with them anymore either. Um, we got Eric Gustafson. That's our second. That's our first repeat, I think, actually. Who is this rookie? Mikey Anderson from LA. Six games, he scored one goal as well. Well, all of our rookies have a goal on the board, so that's not too bad. We got uh, Ben Bishop, and then we got our boy, Freddie Anderson, who is the most inconsistent goal thunder I've ever seen. 
It's not too bad. Got uh, Josh Morrissey here. We got uh, Phil Gruber, which will be interesting to see him taking over for the world goalie with Colorado. I don't know about that. Uh, we got Davinov. Got another Russian. We got Alex Ovechkin again. Okay, so we got back to back. And then we got Brian Little, who's also another repeat. So that's not too bad. That's what, three repeats? And we're on the last pack. So, I mean, that's pretty good, actually, when you think about it. I like variety, too. I don't like getting the same people. Um, let's see if, I think we got it probably, our last rookie card, so I don't know if anything special is going to be in here, but we got Mark Stone, freshly named the new captain, first captain of the Las Vegas uh, Knights. We got uh, Klingberg here. Drew Doughty, okay. MVP signed Los Angeles Drew Doughty, which apparently everybody's counting him out, and he's telling them to go fuck off, but uh, I don't think he's a bad player, but his numbers are definitely going to drop with playing with LA right now. They're a shit team. Um, PK Subban, who I don't know if he's going to have a bounce back here or not. And then we also have Daniel Nurse. Or is it Darnell? My bad. Not Daniel. Um, I don't know. I don't mind him for Edmonton, but they do need to get more defensemen. Team Hinton, Ethan Bear. We got Cliff Bomb. Like, they have some good player, like, defense, but it's just they tried with Russell there for a bit and it didn't turn out. So, uh, anyways, uh, hope you enjoyed watching my you know, upper deck MVP uh, opening. A lot of packs. Be nice if Pokemon had that many packs. Cause I got a, like, this is a stack of cards here. And that's not even the special ones, like. So, I mean, I don't think it was that expensive either. So for the price of it, it was kind of worth it. Fun, nostalgic. I liked it, 2021 season two. So it'll be interesting to see what happens. But uh, anyways, uh, keep going, kids.